Every day in America, a child goes missing, never to be seen again. Three years ago, we followed the case of a Detroit woman whose child was allegedly taken in a carjacking, but her body was never found. Now, despite that pain, her mom has found a way to plant seeds of hope once again. <laughs> The case of little Bianca Jones still conjures thoughts of disbelief three years later. Her father serving a life sentence for her murder, claiming she was snatched during a carjacking. But a massive search and investigation uncovered clues of a missing corpse in a bedroom and in his trunk. Put her in the car and wave bye-bye and she left. The last time I sat with her mom, Benika Jones, she was nearly too distraught to speak. All I think about all the time, every day, is where is my daughter? Then, just a few days ago, we found her here. How did you land here in this urban garden? It's a block from her grandmother's house where she grew up. This once vibrant neighborhood lined with burned down or dilapidated homes is now filled with seeds of hope. Did this make a huge difference and yes. mend your heart? Yes. It, this, this was like an island when I was lost at sea. Ironically, the same day her daughter went missing, a young college student struck by the spirit of rebirth in the city everywhere. bought this mural-covered building to house produce, grown from this urban garden he started. It's going to be like a small little community garden. At first, Benika, without a job and lost in grief, felt invaded by suburbanites. Because I wanted to put a garden here, and I wasn't really getting a lot of help or resources, and then suddenly there was a garden here. Then Tyson was like, it's awesome, please come back and be more involved, and this can be your farm. Last year, this farm created under the Michigan Urban Farm Initiative distributed 12,000 pounds of produce, the majority going to this neighborhood for little or no cost, a labor of love from volunteers and interns who come from across the country. Benika now has a management role on the farm and delivers produce to the elderly on her bike. She and her brother have also purchased a new home from the Detroit Land Bank, Kitty Corner, to the farm. Benika says police will no longer talk to her about Bianca. They assume she's dead. So you still believe your daughter is out there somewhere? Absolutely. Yes, I haven't had any reason to not believe it. No one's ever been able to demonstrate to me that my daughter isn't alive somewhere. And until I see positive proof that she's not, I am going to keep holding out and I'm going to keep looking for my baby. Benika has a 10-year-old daughter she continues to raise and is now an electrical apprentice. And for those who believe all hope is lost in the midst of tragedy, the hope is there. You just have to find it. Now, Benika is now working to get utilities turned on in the home she bought from the Detroit Land Bank, and she will continue to spread hope to the people in her neighborhood, especially the elderly who are so grateful for the fresh produce that she delivers on her bike.